Hello everyone, Data Pioneer here with the Linux Unix Tech Channel, and um, I'm back from a long period off, about five months actually. Um, but I thought what I would do today is uh, introduce you to a website that I've been working on as a project in Drupal. I've uh, been doing some Drupal development, and I um, thought I'd introduce you to the site, and that way you could visit the site if you wanted to, and um, open an account on the site, and register for an account, and become a part of the group called the Western North Carolina Linux Users Group, Asheville. I reside in Asheville, North Carolina, and I belong to the Western North Carolina Linux Users Group, WNC. The website that I developed in Drupal, um, that I stood up, and I, I stood this up on a Linode uh, virtual private server out of Atlanta. Uh, very um, slim, I guess it was a one gig of RAM, um, and only, I think, 25 gigabytes of space, actually. Um, but I installed uh, Drupal on the, um, it was a Debian 11, uh, by the way, uh, operating system. So after I got that set up, I uh, installed Drupal uh, instance, and um, and then um, I did that, uh, prior to that, rather, I uh, went ahead and set up the uh, prerequisites that are required for a Drupal site, which in this case was a uh, LAMP stack. And so I, uh, of course, had Linux already installed. I installed Apache Web Server, MySQL, or actually MariaDB uh, server, and uh, MySQL, um, um, well, it's MariaDB, but it's, it's the same as MySQL, and also uh, PHP. Um, so after I got all that set up, I um, also set up a uh, Postfix server uh, and a, a Dovecot server for communication within the Drupal site itself so that internally uh, when people interact with the site, for instance, to register an account and do other things, uh, you know, the uh, communications will work through SMTP, simple mail transfer protocol. Um, of course, I had um, a little bit of an issue with Linode, but got it all ironed out. Um, they uh, block ports 25, 587, and 443, and so I uh, wasn't able to uh, communicate through SMTP at first, but I got them to open up all of those. Once the uh, pieces that needed to come together for ensuring that you're not going to spam mail, and that's, that's one of the big things right now uh, in, the, in the world, is you can't really um, set up an SMTP server uh, just anywhere and start uh, using it because uh, ISPs uh, and Linode is an ISP for all intents and purposes. It's a, a hoster. Um, they want to make sure you're not going to spam or send out spam. And so to do that, you need to set up what's called a DKIM, SPF, and um, and a D or RDNS, reverse DNS, uh, and other text records that are needed along with your DNS uh, on your domain uh, so that they know that, uh, you know, you're not spamming. And so I did, we did all of that. I had a, a friend who helped me with it. And um, and so we did all of that. And now we did have an issue with IPv6, so we just dropped IPv6 altogether using IPv4 only. And, uh, and so that worked out fine. And so uh, now we've got it up and running. I want to introduce it to you. Uh, the website, the domain is called wnclinuxusersgroup.com. And uh, I've got a Let's Encrypt SSL certificate on it so that the entire site, of course, is SSL secured. That way, when you create an account, um, you know, you can be assured that your data is safe and uh, protected. All right, so here it is. It's the uh, Drupal website. If you're not familiar with Drupal, uh, you may be more familiar with uh, content management uh, system, a CMS, called WordPress. A lot of people use WordPress today to build websites. Uh, there is another one called Joomla. Not too many people use Joomla. I haven't seen that. But uh, apparently WordPress is very popular. I have two other websites 
that I've used WordPress to create those. And uh, But this is a Drupal site. Now, Drupal is a little bit more involved. Uh, it is a content management framework, not just a content management system. Uh, and, um, and it allows you to do a lot more than WordPress does. And it's uh, a little more robust and a lot more secure. Uh, Drupal is designed with uh, uh, security from the ground up. Drupal was developed by a developer by the name of Dries Byart. And um, I am running Drupal 9.50 right now. Uh, Drupal 10 is available, but I'm running 9.50. And it's been a while since I uh, actually touched Drupal. I started with Drupal 6 uh, many, many years ago. And, um, and then got hooked on WordPress and, and went to WordPress because it's easier to use. And uh, and so just recently I've gotten back into Drupal. Uh, the friend of mine that helped me with stand up this site um, got me interested in Drupal again, and so I went ahead and, and developed this site based on that. Now, this is not the default theme um, that comes with uh, Drupal 8, which is Bartik. This is another theme, Olivetta, and... Um, this theme is now the default in Drupal 9 going forward. So, uh, or at least, yeah, 9 going forward. Uh, and it definitely is the default theme in Drupal 10. Uh, so you will see this type of theme as the default if you set up your own Drupal website. So let's take a look at it. This is uh, WNC Linux Users Group Asheville here. I've got what's called a hamburger menu out here that I've developed. Uh, but here's the home page. So it just introduces you a little bit to who we are, what we do, and uh, where we're located. Uh, out here on the sidebar, I've got a user login. All right, so you can actually log into the site using this username password field, hitting the login button. If you want to create a new account, which is what you would have to do if you visit the site for the first time. And by the way, I will put the URL for this site in the show notes down below so you can visit. I would highly encourage you to visit us. I highly encourage you to join us as a, if you're a Linux user and you want to become a member of a group that uh, discusses Linux monthly. Uh, I'll talk about that a little bit more in a moment. Then we're the group for you. It's called the Western North Carolina Linux Users Group. And we are right now uh, interacting online through Jitsi Meet. We do not have a physical location where we meet anymore. So we're, uh, we're meeting online monthly. All right, so to create a new account, you would click on the Create New Account uh, URL here or link and uh, follow the prompts. Once you get an account created, if you want to reset your password at any time or if you forget your password, you can click on the Reset Your Password link and reset that. All right, or you can click on the login here and, and do that. Now, in the sidebar, I've got some information about what is Linux. You know, Linux is a free open source operating system based on Unix operating system. First developed by Linus Torvalds in 91 while he was a student at University of Helsinki in Finland. And then I go on to describe a little bit more detail about what Linux is. Down below that, I've got an important announcement section where I... Uh, often post information relevant to the website uh, for the users, for subscribers, or uh, registrant, registrants, as I call them, uh, registered users. Uh, and also I, I refer to registered users as authenticated users, as opposed to non-authenticated site visitors. Okay. All right, and so there are things on the website that a site visitor could not see a normal site visitor is not registered that a registered user can see. So it's important that you register if you want to see all the pertinent information. And there'll be more as time goes on. This site is still uh, under development. Uh, it's very actively under development right now. And uh, so it's growing every day. So come back, visit us often, and you'll see updated information. All right, down below that is the recent content information section, a block uh, called recent content. And uh, these are articles that uh, have been created relevant to Linux and open source software. 
So, for instance, if you wanted to look and see what, you know, Linux desktop continues to escalate, just click on that link right there. It takes you out to um, the link here for the Linux desktop continues to escalate. And, um, and so you will be able to uh, read this article. And then if you're authenticated, you'll be able to comment. So, you know, here this is the comment section. Down below what would be the comment section, which is now closed. And you've got some information up here, log in or register to post comments. So you can't comment right now in this article that you read because you're not authenticated. I'm not authenticated into the, to the site. All right, so that was an example of uh, a Linux article. Okay, I've got two di different types of articles on this uh, website. I've got Linux articles and I've got open source software articles. And uh, to get to that, let me show you real quick. If you go up to the menu, click on it, uh, you come down, you've got the open source articles here, and you've got the Linux articles here. So let's click on the Linux article section. And this is in a book format rather than a regular article format. And so these are referred to as book pages in uh, Drupal. Uh, I did that for a purpose, and uh, which will become evident once you get on the site start using it. But down below here are the links to the Linux-related articles. Uh, and so, and they are in alphabetical order, okay? You can access them as well by clicking here on those links uh, as well. And then for the open source articles, the OSS articles, you can go here. And it, here's a description of what the open source articles uh, pertain to. And then here, again, is a list of those open source articles. And again, as I said, um, this site is being updated daily. And so you're going to see more and more articles uh, coming online uh, on a daily basis. So this is not a static website by any means. I've got a contributor who's uh, going to be writing articles as well for the site. And so there's going to be a lot of content coming your way. All right, so let's get back down here to the uh, uh, we, we're not logged in, so let's come back down to the sidebar. Here's the article navigation. So in addition to what you see over here, here's the, the same links, um, you know, in an article navigation pane or block uh, on the site itself. Now, any comments on the site that have already been registered from registered users or authenticated users will appear here in the recent content block. And you can click on that. For instance, there's a comment about the open box window uh, manager in Linux. And so if you click on that, there's the uh, the article itself. And then there was a comment. I thought, well, I'm not logged in, so you can't see it. All right, so then down below that, here's the recent comments. Here's the recent comment, for instance, to a uh, kernel version I'm running. And so if I go down and click on that, Drupal Master is, uh, is myself on the site. And so here's uh, um, Linux News is the forum that we have, and I'll show you that in a moment. And so this is a comment that was uh, given by Lloyd Byron um, about the kernel version I'm running, article or forum blog or post that I, I wrote up here. And so he has commented on that, and uh, I would need to log in or register to post a reply to his comment. All right, so let's go back up to the menu. And so for the menu here, if you come down, here's the About page. And that takes you out to um, our WNC Linux Users Group C A R R D dot CO. It's another section of information that tells you what we do, uh, what the group is involved. So what we do here is here. And uh, it gives you some information about that. So let me go back and uh, click on the, the group itself. And here's a picture of uh, some of the members of the group that attend frequently. All right. And so let's go back. And we attend on a monthly basis. The first Saturday of every month at noon, uh, there's a Jitsi meet. And there's a link that goes out to uh, all the uh, users of the group and all the members. Uh, and that allows you to access the Jitsi meet at noon on the first Saturday of every month. Um, if you wanted to join that uh, group, then uh, there's a, a web, an email that you need to write to, send an email to, 
requesting to join, and that is the WNCLUG underscore Asheville plus sign subscribe at googlegroups.com, and that will allow you to join our Google Groups uh, listserv forum on the web, and uh, that way you'll become a member of that group as well. You'll be able to get the information on the Jitsi Meet that's meeting on the first Saturday of every month, and you'll be able to click on that link and become a member of the group and come in and talk about what you're doing in Linux and listen to what everybody else has to say about what they're doing, projects that they're running, and other things. And it's a very uh, enjoyable time. So it lasts about two hours, uh, and so we would really love to have you. Uh, so here is a uh, web uh, email address, rather, that you can email to get a hold of me if you have any issues with joining the group or any other things that you want to do. You can either click here or you can click on this icon here, and then we have a YouTube site as well for the WNC Linux Users Group. You can click on that and go out to YouTube. So let me go back here. And uh, let's go back. And I'll need to get back. I think I've made a mistake here. And uh, didn't get to the group. Okay, back to the website. All right, here. So here we are. And um, so if you want to contact us internally, once you're registered, um, you can uh, go up to the Contact Us and click on it, fill out this information, fill out your email address. It does not have to be a Gmail address. And then you can put in the date here. Uh, so you can scroll down, put in the date, and for the time, put in the time that you uh, hit the site that you want to send this uh uh, e internal email to put in a subject put in a message and then you can preview it and then you can send it all right so it should go out and it will come to me at drupalmaster at uh, wnclinuxusersgroup.com and i'll respond to it all right so uh, if you want to check out the events you can come here the last event that we had that was a presentation given on floss photography uh, and it was given by one of our members who is uh, Leander. And if you click on this link here, it will take you to the Western North Carolina Linux Users Group YouTube channel and actually allow you to watch the entire uh, presentation. Okay. So let's go back to the menu and go down to uh, the forums. I mentioned that we have a forum, so you'd need to log in to post content for the forum, but here it is. Here's some information about how to use the forum itself. And then here's the breakdown of the forum itself. Uh, there are several forum uh, articles, um, uh, forum links rather, for general questions, newbie, containers, general news, etc., etc. I'm not going to go into great detail here. You'll see that when you come up on the website and uh, log in and become a member. All right, so for meetings here, um, we already talked about Linux articles. I'm going to skip that, and I'll skip the OSS. Here's the meetings, and so here we are, and this is the uh, the group itself, the monthly Jitsi meetings, uh, and here are the recorded meetings that I've recorded. I'm also the recorder for the group, and uh, and so you can see all of those. Click on each of these individually. Uh, should be in reverse chronological order, so this should be, uh, I mean, in chronological order. And so this should be the latest one on down to the newest one here. Okay, so let's go back to the menu, and we now have a privacy notice. And so when you become a member of this uh, website and register for an account, this information, you might want to visit this and uh, read it because it tells you specifically how I treat your information which is, there isn't a lot that you give me. It's just basically your your name and your email address and any other information you wish to provide. Right now it's very uh, scaled down, so there isn't a lot you can provide. But uh, it gives you a summary of key points for what we uh, capture and then a table of contents that's easy to get to. So if you want to, for instance, you want to know what are my, my privacy rights, you click on that. It takes you directly to that. Uh, so that you can you can read it and you know up front uh, we're not trying to hide anything from you uh, we don't sell 
uh, your email address to any third party. I can't see your password when you register. And so I can't uh, get into your account and do anything with it. All right. Uh, but I am here to assist you if you do run into issues. All right. And so the last thing I want to show you is the RSS News. And so if you go out to the RSS News, it's called Fresh RSS. And here it is. And it's just an, an added feature to the website. It's not really pertinent to the actual operation of the site. But it's uh, information that you can uh, utilize for, you know, viewing um, news uh, that might be in, you might be interested in. And so, for instance, here is uh, How to Geek. There's an article on How to Geek. Uh, here's one on Microsoft won't sell your, your Windows 10, uh, but you can still buy it, uh, you know, et cetera, et cetera. If you go out here to this folder, and you can come across, and for tech news, you can select the uh, uh, RSS uh, news feeds that I already have set up. So if I want to go, or if you want to go rather to Review Geek, that takes you immediately to the Review Geek, and you can see articles uh, that are pertinent to and are current for the the uh, news feeds from Review Geek, which is a a news feed. Now, um, this means that this brings your news right to you. You don't have to go out on the web and find Review Geek and uh, and look for the articles and uh, you know that you might want to read on a daily basis. It's right here, right for you every morning um, via this website. And so you can uh, click on those. And now if you want to see more about the article, for instance, this one here, Stadia thanks players with controller updates and one last game. So if you click on that link, it takes you out to Review Geek on the web and you can actually read the article in total, okay? Okay, so that's RSS news feeds. And let's go back here to the website. You can log in from here as well as logging in from the home page. So if I click on that, it takes me to this login screen and I can uh, let me log in as myself, Dan Calloway. And so I am an admin on the site. I can manage it. And so I can manage here. This is the management dashboard for Drupal. So I can do various things, and I won't get into detail. You know, this is not a Drupal um, video. This is just about the website itself. All right, so this has been the, the Western North Carolina Linux Users Group. Um, and again, we are located in Asheville, North Carolina. Uh, and we are a Linux Users Group uh, for Western North Carolina. We talk about Linux. We talk about the projects we're doing. We talk about any issues at our monthly meetings that we might be running into with Linux and get help from other people who are knowledgeable in Linux. So this, this website uh, and our group is for newbies all the way up to seasoned veterans. I highly encourage you to join our group. Look forward to seeing you. And so this has been Data Pioneer for the Linux Users Tech Group. Uh, and... Uh, so join us at WNC Linux Users Group Asheville. We'd love to have you. So take care and have a nice day. Bye-bye.